Imagine if the US dollar suddenly lost its crown as the world's go-to currency. With China and Russia getting closer and a possible peace deal between Iran and Saudi Arabia, everyone is buzzing about this topic on TikTok and Instagram. Will the US dollar collapse as a reserve currency? Keep watching to find out. And hey, if you end up enjoying this dive into world currencies, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. First, let's look at some of the reserve currencies of the past. Since 1450, only six different currencies have taken the global stage. But wait, what is a world reserve currency and how does it work? It's like the superstar of money that big shot governments and institutions use to do international deals, trade stuff, and invest in. Right now, the spotlight is on the US dollar. But that could possibly change in the future. In the past, Portugal, Spain, the Netherlands, France, and Great Britain all took their turn in the currency spotlight. And then the US came in with a bang around 1944. But wait, how did these currencies lose their place at the top? It's a little complicated. Let's start with Portugal and Spain. During the Age of Exploration, Portugal had all the power. They created a global empire that dominated trade. They sailed to Africa, Asia, and even the New World. Their currency was the big shot, used everywhere for global trade. But just like any empire, they faced their challenges. Attacks and competition from the Dutch, British, and the French eventually brought the downfall of the empire and the currency with it. Now, fast forward to Spain. This one lasted the longest, a whopping 110 years, from 1530 to 1640. They teamed up with Portugal, forming a power duo known as the Iberian Union. Ever heard of Spanish silver coins? Those babies were global rock stars, accepted across Europe, Asia, and the Americas. How? Abundant silver from Spanish South America. But as the years rolled by, wars and revolutions flipped the script, leading to their downfall in the 1600s. Next, we've got the Netherlands, France, and finally, England. The Netherlands held power for almost 80 years, from 1640 to 1720. They birthed the Dutch East India Company, a game-changer in the trading world. These guys protected the spice trade, rocked the Indian Ocean, and gave Spain a run for their money. But like a roller coaster, ups come with downs. Wars with France and England took a toll, knocking the Dutch off their currency throne. And who can forget France, the star of 1720 to 1815. They were on fire, aiming for European dominance under Louis XIV. But too much partying, war, and heavy taxes brought about their downfall. The 1789 French Revolution was like a dramatic plot twist, resulting in economic turmoil. After Napoleon's defeat at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, England seized the opportunity and rocked the global trade scene for a whopping 105 years. How did they do it? But after World War I, their economic and reserve currency status took a major blow. They had to dig deep into their pockets, piling up debt just to win the war. Now, while Great Britain was struggling, guess who was raking in the rewards? Yup, you got it, the USA. The real turning point came after World War II. The US held the world's gold stash and scored big, as nations worldwide agreed to treat the dollar as good as gold, and it stayed that way till 1971. This twist changed the game entirely, and has everyone wondering, what's the dollar backed by today? In 1970, it was gold. But now, risky business, folks, the dollar's in the hot seat. The dollar's been reigning as the reserve currency for either 102 years or 79 years, depending on your starting point. So, what's the deal? There's good reason to think that the dollar will never fall. That's because of the sturdy infrastructure built over decades. The dollar's widespread circulation, the goods priced in its shadow, and a truckload of momentum. Year after year, it's been a habit, just swiping that US dollar without second thoughts. But hey, let's not forget, Innovation is a game-changer, and change is the only constant. For a new currency to rock the world stage, it needs a government everyone has faith in. What if there was a shiny new global currency? But hold up! Can we really trust all the world's governments to unite under one currency flag? It's possible. Some people claim that this reserve currency switch won't happen in our lifetime, especially if you're young right now. They're talking about maybe seven years down the line, or perhaps even more. 
The real sign that the world no longer only relied on the U.S. was during COVID. Taiwan has a major role in microchip manufacturing for smartphones, while China's big in pharma and manufacturing as a whole. During the pandemic, these economic activities came to a halt while these countries were under lockdown. Apple once even talked about moving its manufacturing from China to India. What would a world currency show-off even look like? Well, we've still got the dollar at the top, followed by the euro and the yen. But way down there, there's also the renminbi, China's ace in the hole. Of course, all these currencies aren't on the same level yet. The others have a long way to go before they can get to the same level as the dollar. Now, if you're the type who keeps score, you'd probably notice that the US dollar's presence in global central bank reserves has been taking a dip lately. No need to panic, though. Let's peek at history. From 1979 to 1996, it was even lower than what we're seeing now. But ah, the good old days of strength. That's a tale from 1970 to 1978, just before the arrival of a certain president named Jimmy Carter. And speaking of presidents, anyone else getting deja vu with Joe Biden? If you can totally relate to that feeling of impending doom, make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Still, there are currently 11 foreign countries using the US dollar as their official currency. We're talking places like Panama, El Salvador, Zimbabwe, and Timor-Leste, just to name a few. The secret strength behind this currency is the sheer muscle of the US economy. We're talking about a mammoth $23 trillion annual GDP, leaving China in second place with $17.7 .7 trillion, and Japan in a distant third place with $4.9 trillion. For the US dollar to crumble, we'd need a colossal shakeup. Think World War III proportions. But hold on, even with all the global chaos, the US stands pretty tall in the stability department. The odds of the US dollar biting the dust are pretty slim. And even if it did happen, trust me, we'd have bigger fish to fry than worrying about our investments. Wrapping things up, currency collapses aren't a walk in the park. They're a big deal tied to major economic or political events that rock a nation to its core. For most countries, including the US, it's not exactly in the cards. Thanks to the US dollar's heavyweight status as the global reserve currency, a collapse is like a unicorn sighting, super rare. But power can be tricky. When you're on top for a while, you might start feeling untouchable, perhaps even a tad overconfident. It's easy for governments to fall into a lax state and stop putting in effort. Take a history lesson from Venezuela. They had a lot of wealth, but it all slipped away in just two generations. And here's the kicker. We're splurging like there's no tomorrow, assuming the good times will roll forever. But it would be too easy to assume that it would last forever. Anything could shake up the status quo. Is it going to happen in a year? Nah. In 5? Probably not. But in 10, 15, or 20 years? Don't count it out. With all the changes in the world taking place, the US dollar collapsing is definitely a possibility, even if it's a pretty slim one for now. And there you have it. We went deep into the world of reserve currencies and the dominance of the US dollar as the current global one. Remember, while currency collapses don't happen that easily, they do have a history of shaking things up when they do. But if you've invested in some, don't worry. Make sure to diversify your investments so you can survive any chances that might come up in the future. And if you found the history of the rise and fall of past global reserve currencies interesting, give that thumbs up and subscribe button a little tap to join our curious community for more videos like these.